I don't think there was anyone sitting in the changing room at the time thinking one of us would come back here as a professional footballer. Looking for Ferdinand and they've not picked up the big striker. Ferdinand shot. Super goal. Oh, and hit Ferdinand. And it's there. Ferdinand. That's meat and drink for Les Ferdinand. Les, before we go into the, the five-a-side team, all-time PFA winners five-a-side team, I'd like to just know your thoughts on winning the award. How, how do you rank that in terms of overall achievements in your career? I think um, in terms of achievements, I think to, to be voted by your peers, you know, you, you get magazine awards, you get sort of like uh, all sorts of different kind of uh, awards given to you over your, over your career. But I think to, to be voted by your peers um, as the best player, uh, mm. I think there's no higher accolade um, any player could, could want or want, wish for to know that the people that you've played in week in, week, in, week out are the ones that have voted for you to, to, to be player of the year that year. So, yeah, it stands up there quite high. Did you think that when you played the FA Cup race final in 86 that I might that I might be among the big boys here and be one of the foremost and the best player in the, in the Premier League? Do you know, um, it was really crazy because when in, in, in that um, Vars final, we, we stood in the, in, in the change room, or we sat in the change rooms and the manager was there and he was saying, look, you boys need to in, in, enjoy this because there's one player in here that might come back and play, play again at Wembley. But the rest of you will never play here again. So, you know, use this occasion. Don't let it go. You know, all the, all the, all the yeah. normal stuff. And I think we were all st we were all looking around the training, the the, the change room, thinking because we had a couple of good players in there. There was a guy called Keith James who like who's, who'd been a a pro a, a sort of like lower leagues. Thought he might get an opportunity. And I think everyone was in there thinking, could someone get here in the Vars final again or get there in the trophy final? I don't think there was anyone sitting in the changing room at the time thinking one of us would come back here as a professional footballer, or certainly not playing for England anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and so to, to to come back and I always remember sitting in that same changing room in my first game for England, um, thinking about that story where he said um, someone would come back, never believing it would be as a professional footballer, or certainly not playing for England anyway. Well, their problems mounted. They lost nine in total. Here comes Ferdinand. One nil. Right out of the blue, Les Ferdinand completes his century of goals in English football. Stunning finish. Ferdinand doesn't want to commit himself. He allows Ferdinand to get near the edge of the box. Onto his right foot. No tackle at all. I was going through some pictures during your career. You got the PFA award, it was you and Pele. That's right. Yeah. What do you remember from from that night? It was so <laughs> it was so surreal because before before the PFA Awards, uh, Kevin Keegan said to me, um, "Oh, you're going to PFA Awards, aren't you?" And I went, "No." He went, "Here you are." I said, "No, I'm not." He went, "Here you are." I said, "No, I don't go." You know, when he goes, "Well, yeah, you're going this time." I was like, "No, I'm not going." Hey. Um, he said to me, "Oh, why not?" And I went, "Oh, it's a free for all." Do you know what I mean? It's blah 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 blah. Yeah. And he goes, "But you know, his players are getting recognised for what they've done." I said, "I oh, know, I understand it." But it's just not my scene, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he left it a day or two and he went to me, oh, you're going to the PFA Awards. The lads have got a table and you're going. I went, I ain't going, you know? And he said <laughs> to me, you are. In the end, I went, all right, all right, I'll go. And Because what he promised me was like a few more extra days in London. Yeah. Um, so I said, all right, I'm going. So um, I came down to London and um, went went with the players. And then all of a sudden, my name gets announced. Uh, I had no idea they who was going to be there. Who was gonna? I didn't know. I didn't know who oh, won okay. the award. No idea who was gonna be there. Um, and then I know Robbie Fowler got uh, announced as a young player. Right. And then I, then I got announced as a player. And then when I got up there, you know, obviously Pele's given me the trophy. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you, you know, one of my footballing heroes giving me the trophy. It was just such a surreal night. It was, um, it was uh, unforgettable. And it, you know, unfortunately, when he when he passed uh, recently. Um, I have a photo of him kissing me on um, while he was giving me the trophy. Amazing. So I've been showing everyone else. <laughs> I was trying to get, I was trying to get yeah, this photo yeah, yeah. off me. You know what I mean? but, um, Amazing. You know. Should we dig in then? Yeah. 
Okay. Where are we okay. thinking? Five aside. Five aside. We have um, two goalkeepers only, two yeah, winners. Yeah, uh, and both of them were sensational goalkeepers in terms of uh, what they achieved in their careers. Um, big Pat Jennings and, and, and Peter Shilton. Um, but I, I worked with Pat. Right. You know, when I was at Spurs, I worked with Pat. So that's going to edge it for me. I'm going to have to go with Pat Jennings as my goalkeeper. Like, you know, um, yeah, you um, have to keep it loyal. We have a few ones. Yes, you know, Norman Hunt and Colin Todd, who were great, great defenders. But I've, I, I've just done my team that, um, you know, my Premier League team, who, who players I would I would have in my team. And Gary Pallister, I see down here as one of the defenders that won it in 91, 92. Mm -hmm. And he, I put him in my team. So I'm going to have to put him in the team. For the sake well, of consistency. Yeah, for yeah. the sake, sake of consistency. Um, we got one or two defenders. Nah, I, can't, I can only go with one, yeah. one defender. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a bunch but of forwards this, there. This is, this is a five-a-side team. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> We're looking at, listen, Liam Brady's one of the best players I've seen. Yeah. Um, you know, um, live. I remember watching him at QPR at one stage uh, when I first joined the club. Uh, he was playing for Arsenal, and um, he was sensational on the, on the Astro turf on the plastic pitch. Um, so I'm looking at him now, and Terry McDermott, who I worked with at, at um, Newcastle, who are great players, um, and thinking, can I put him in my team? But then I flicked on a bit, a bit, a bit more. Could go back to him, but um, one of the players who, again, for me, was in his day, was arguably the best player in the Premier League for a stage, and um, that's John Barnes. Right. Um, so I'm going to have to stick Johnny Barnes in. in John Barnes, in yeah. He can play alongside uh, Palace to the back. We sat sat with John Barnes to pick his five side team, and he used an hour Did he? deliberating each player, <laughs> saying, "All right, strength and weaknesses." <laughs> you know, the, the reason because Johnny started as a as a kind of like a winger. Yeah. Um, forward like winger and then um, reverted back to midfield holding midfield player so um, that's why I put him in so, so he could play alongside Gary Pallister um, David Ginola um, I've just seen him won it in 98-99 and arguably the best player I played with domestically David Ginola is playing wider on the left he was in a more central role in the first half he tends to do better on this side he's got a chance can he bring Newcastle back into it he can Great goal by David Ginola. A classic from the French master. Well, I have to put him in there. Um, I'll have a lot of goals scored against my side with him and John Barnes in it. But um, You're free to put yourself in if you want. No, no, no. I, I, want, I want to be the captain. <laughs> oh, sorry, I want, I'll be the manager. You can have so a glorified sub team. if you want. So what I've got, I've got uh, Pat, um, Pallister, yeah. Ginola, Barnes. Got one more, yeah? Mm-hmm. Jeez. Jeez. Some good players here, aren't they? <laughs> How was it like to play with, with Shearer? Yeah, no, nah, that's it. I'm looking at it and he's, a, he's the all-time top goal scorer in the Premier League, so I've got to put him in there, haven't I? Yeah. I've got to put him in there. Um, yeah, you're judged by goals, aren't you? Yeah, judged by goals. And listen, there's some fantastic, because I, I had Bergkamp in my, in, in my team as well. You've got Teddy Sheringham in there, you've got Thierry Henry, all of these guys I put in the teams. But um, Ronaldo, geez, how can I leave Ronaldo out? But no, nah, I'm happy with. In fact, in fact, <laughs> in fact, I might have to just take the defender out. I love Palester and all that, but I might have to just take the defender yeah. out and go full out attack. Fair enough. Pally, I'm sorry, mate. I'm going to have to take you out. <laughs> as much as I loved you, and as much as I thought you was a good player, a great player. Just rely on John Barnes for the uh, John the Barnes, yeah, to, to defend. And because it's five aside. Jeez. Jeez. What are you thinking now? Another midfield or another forward? You'll go Henri. Henri, yeah. 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 I mean, I'm not going to dispute that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, mate, is that the best player you've seen in the Premier League ever? Or where does where does he rank on that? I think um He'd certainly be up there um, in terms of when he, I think when he was at his height, I used to say it was like he was playing in the playground with his mates at school. Yeah. He was just head and shoulders above everybody. Three goals for Henri. Three hat-tricks now in his Arsenal career. His second hat-trick of the season. I remember Ian Wright taking, it took so many years for Ian Wright to break the record at Arsenal. Um, to become their top goal scorer, and then he comes along a t two years later yeah. and broke it. Do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> right, he must have been devastated. I know right really well. He must have been devastated, but um, Henri was at one stage was in the league of his own. You you, you won it though. You were rather 
invincible. Yeah, I did okay. That season. I, I did okay. Um, I mean, a, a lot of people talk about the, the, the time of the, when when the awards uh, uh, are dished out, and you know, I had a real, I had a real great start to my my um, my time at Newcastle, and um, sort of like got up to uh, January, February, where I was I was firing, and I, I, I teetered off a little bit. Um, but the season before that, I'd, I'd scored 26 goals at QBR. Mm-hmm. And, and I think it was the fact that I made the jump and everyone didn't know how how well I'd make the jump going to Newcastle from QPR. So, you know, in, in the two seasons, I, I'd scored 50-odd goals in two seasons. So, um, I think people were remembering the, the, the time at QPR as well when they, when they gave me the award for the, for the year at, Q, at Newcastle. So one last question. I used to be a centre-back. You're known, renowned for your aerial ability. Mm-hmm. You're not as tall as me. I would put it that way. <laughs> How tall what, are you? I'm 194, so six foot. Okay, four. okay. But what made what made you so good in the air? Because you weren't the biggest striker, right? No, I wasn't. Um, and I'm just bordering six foot. Mm-hmm. And basically, what I had to do was every time I played against someone that was six foot two, six foot three, six foot four, I um, I worked on it. I knew I had to. I and it was one of the tools really. It was like I thought if I could jump above you. Um, I'm going to demoralise you a little bit here mm-hmm. because you're six foot two, six foot three, and thinking, well, I should out jump him. Right. So um, yeah, it was saying that I worked on, um, and you know, I was able to jump up and stay there for a little bit, and and then come down again and mm-hmm. try and get on the end of the ball after that. Yeah, but like yeah, that was something I did work on to to to, to see um, if I could beat people in the air. Brilliant. That's your five side team. You're happy? Yes, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happy. And I scrolling through this. There's a few changes I could make, but I'm not going to stick with that.